This is To Hatch a Pod. Sit back and relax as Key, Corey, Greg, and Ashley talk about what's happening in and around To Hatch a Pod. It's To Hatch a Pod time. Key Budge Jeanette Power joins me today. Jeanette, welcome back. Thank you for having me. It's nice to have you. Once a month, we get together. We talk about things to look forward to in our business community in the greater To Hatch a Pod area. And now we have March. <laughs> My gosh, I can't believe what happened. <laughs> the calendar pages keep flipping by. March is here, and that means spring, and we've got summer around the corner. In March, what's going on in our business world? Well, at the Chamber of Commerce, we have um, a Lunch and Learn on March 15th. That's going to be held at the Remax on Tehachapi Boulevard from 12 to 1. We have limited spaces, so if you are interested, let me know. Noah Hall with Tehachapi News is going to teach us a class on Google Analytics, the basics, and he'll be able to field questions as well. And Google Analytics, you and I were talking about this not too long ago, about how Google Analytics can help you figure out the best way to market, how to use your time more wisely, how to grow your business. And so there's a lot of mystery and intrigue about Google Analytics, and I'm really excited about that. So It tells a story. That's one thing that you're able to, when you dive into numbers, data, you know, you start to look and see what works, why it works, what time it works. Those right. different things are all important as a part of a, a marketing plan, you know, right. I would think, for a small business. Well, and when you're a small business, you have to work smarter, not harder. So if you figure out that Tuesdays at three o'clock is the best time for you to get information out, then that's what you should be doing and, and using your time as wisely as possible. And I think that these lunch and learns are going to grow. We, Corey and myself were the hosts for the first one that you threw last month, and I thought it was very well attended. There was great back and forth Q&A, and hopefully those that attended, we had between 20 and 25 people attending, came away with something or that it opened their eyes to something new that we had to share. Well, and what was great was, you know, Yvette over at Kelsey's, you know, did a live post right there at the event and she had never done it before. And she was, you know, there's no better way to get into this than just do it now. And if I can't figure it out, then I've got people here to help me figure it out. But that was so smart. Wasn't it though? I think that event alone got 860 likes and follows on Facebook and share. And I don't know how many shares, but that was one of our bigger events. And that tells me that we're on the right track and that I need to continue asking the businesses what they would like to learn about. But yeah, we're excited about Google Analytics and it's going to help you figure out the best time to post on social media and how to look like I use Eventbrite for our scheduling. And I go on the backside of Eventbrite and see when are most of these tickets purchased and what does that relate to either my social media post or my emails, which is the best way to communicate to my public. And so it helps me be more efficient and, and also get a clear message to people who are interested in these classes. Okay, so let's share the information one one more time about Lunch and Learn. It was, you say, March 15th? It is March 15th. 12 to 1, and it's being held at Remax. Every Lunch and Learn's at a different location so that we can also bring people through business doors, right? And Noah Hall from Tatchby News is teaching that. If you're interested, you need to email me at chamber at tehatchby.com. And where's the Remax office? That is 100 or 1001 Tehatchby Boulevard. It's right next to Big Papa's on the corner of Tucker and Tehatchby. Okay, perfect. And then after that, March 16th, one of our new businesses here in town is opening their doors. She is so excited. Rosemary Powell is opening up up life, joyful life hypnotherapy. Uh, I sat with her for about an hour and learned about the process of hypnotherapy. And it's really fascinating and interesting how your mind works and how you can resolve issues and move forward. It's not counseling, it's it's therapy. It's fantastic. Her ribbon cutting is at four o'clock on March 16th. Uh, that's Thursday. And she's going to have charcuterie board and tons of raffle prizes. And she is so excited and she's fantastic. You should just come and meet her and support her business if you can. I've heard about, she's she's been at the EDC meetings mm-hmm. and I know that uh, there's been some word that got back to me that she would love to share what she does here on a podcast. So I think we're going to invite her on. We want to, one thing that in talking with Greg is that we want to feature our small businesses oh. on the show and start to highlight our small business owners. So I'm going to share that with you because you're in touch with our small businesses on a daily basis. So that's something that we, we're going to start doing. We want to start bringing them in and can't get to everybody, but we want to get to as many as we can and just highlight, hey, what is your business? And let's introduce you to the community. You know, uh, last year we had Hydrochrome receive Small Business of the Year. 
he chromes the Oscars for the Oscar ceremony. He chromed, I think, a five or six foot statue. He is tremendously, I can't say his name, it's, it's a Scandinavian, so he goes by Diesel. We have so many unique and phenomenal businesses that people aren't aware of. So I'll make a list and I'll get it to you by the end of today. Excellent. Okay, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> See, and that's the reason why we have these conversations. Yeah. Because we can, what we can do to help promote local Tehachapi business is what we want to do. It starts here with the Chamber of Commerce, the relationship that we have here at the city of Tehachapi. We start talking and we start realizing we have things that we can share and collaborate on. So Fantastic. Uh, Count me in. Okay, perfect. And then in March uh, 21st, we have Kern County Sheriff Donnie Youngblood speaking about what's going on. And I've kind of let the floor be his as as far as what he's going to speak about. And then we're going to have about a 10 minute question and answer session. We just kind of, I know we're very concerned about crime and here in Tehachapi, we're tremendously safe and we're very blessed to be in this community. We need to know what our neighbors are experiencing and how things are being processed or not processed. And we need to understand what's going on. I'd rather hear it from from, um, the horse's mouth so to speak, and find out what's going on, what we need to do, what we need to be aware of. Yeah, and I know with the last luncheon, uh, our county supervisor, Zach Scribner, was there, and he talked about Measure K and what that means. And I think, and he talked about public safety, and a lot of those funds are going to make sure they're taking care of the essential services and public safety. So Sheriff Youngblood probably can expand upon that and what that impact of the Measure K revenue will do for the county. And does that translate to Tehachapi, the greater Tehachapi, the unincorporated area that he patrols. So yeah, that's that's the timing of that, of having him here is perfect. Well, thank you. Thank you. We, uh, last year at the end of the, the, the year, we as a board sat down and discussed what are the key issues that we're hearing from specifically our small businesses, our small businesses, you know, they're kind of the glue that holds our community together. Right. So we need to make sure that they're as strong as possible. And so we made a list of what we were hearing, how often we were hearing it. We uh, created um, a list of criteria and, and then we looked for availability. So um, we were very fortunate. The city always kicks us off every year, which is fantastic because, you know, uh, you guys give a good fiscal evaluation of, about the, the health and general economic health of the community and what you're going to be doing that next year. And then uh, Sheriff Youngblood and, and Zach Scrivener. And then uh, we've got more more speakers. We've got a couple in there that are just purely educational. We've got a Niels Larson. He is the head test pilot for NASA, and he's going to talk about X50, the X-59 project, which is the largest aviation project NASA's done in like 20 years. And he's going to be hopefully the pilot to fly it. We'll see. There's three of them. But um, so, but that's interesting because we're very much you know uh, dependent upon aerospace in our community as well. So we need to understand how we can support the aerospace community. Yeah, and we've got Assemblyman Fong coming, and, and we've got lots of good speakers this year. I'm, I'm really excited, and hopefully we'll be able to interview the new uh, replacement for Chief Kroger when whenever that is found. And how can people get their tickets? So the tickets for the luncheon, you can go on Eventbrite and make a reservation and pay online and um, just show up and you'll be on the guest list. Very good. I know last time you had a lot of people kind of kind of come at the last minute and that it, just, it creates a little bit of anxiety, I'm sure. <laughs> it, it does. So we had 15 people who, who showed up without tickets. The weather was terrible. We had uh, 10 cancellations. And so we, we tried to make room for everybody, but we're going to have to, at some point, draw the line and say, I'm, it's just a matter of the fire marshal only allows 100 people in that yeah, space. There's only that's, so much that's, space. That's right. There's only If there's not a chair, I can't accommodate you, but we do our best. But yeah, yeah I think we had 100 people uh, there, at the last luncheon. And, and positive feedback too. I think, Thank you. Uh, you know, Supervisor Scrivener did a great job of, of talking about the message of the county right. and what it means here to the unincorporated greater Tehachapi area. Well, and Big Papa's does a great job. I mean, we serve 100 people in 15 minutes. Right. Um, and the food's always delicious. It's always ready. It's a fantastic experience. And it's also a great networking opportunity as well. Yes, it is. Okay, do we have anything else uh, to look forward to? <laughs> to Hatchapi's finest in uh-huh. April 21st. Uh, that's where we celebrate the Small Business, Large Business, Citizen of the Year, and Nonprofit of the Year. And our Citizen of the Year is Dal Bun. Small Business is Canine Creek. Uh, large Business is BH&E. And then our nonprofit is the uh, Tehachapi Warriors Booster Club, uh, which raised like $100,000, all for equipment and training and education for our athletes here in this community, or the that, school, school system. That's impressive. And you know, we look right now, our, our girls varsity basketball team right? is uh, fighting for a championship. I know that the, they're still a part of the playoffs. Uh, Mayor Davies was planning on going to see them in a playoff game. So uh, it just kind of shows that the support from the community 
and it supports our the boys and girls, the athletics at the high school. Well, and you think about it, they raised it by selling hot dogs and pancakes and, you know, sodas and waters. I mean, it is it is a true grassroots community effort that raised that money, and they should be very proud of their organization. So um, we're looking forward to celebrating what these people represent and how hard they work and what they contribute to the community. It's not just a business. It's a business that cares and gives and contributes to the overall health in, of our community. So I'm excited to celebrate it. That's the fiber of Tehachapi. It's you look at these people, how hard they work and, and it's across the board. I mean, these four different groups that you've mentioned or five different groups and it just, it's, just shows so much about who we are and our identity and Mm -hmm. the fact that you're able to highlight that each year. Thank you for doing that because it it does highlight something that, you know, because you mentioned the the hydrochrome and not knowing what they do, but that's right. It's exciting to see these different things that occur here. Well, Tehachapi News and the Chamber of Commerce have done this for, I think, 25 years together as a partnership recognizing the community. It's just a great feel good project. It does educate you on the heart of our community. It really does. And if people want tickets, is it Eventbrite also? It's through Eventbrite as well. And it's limited space for that as well. You know, uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be fun. We're going to have a social hour. I know Assemblyman Fong is going to be there. uh, Kern County Scrivener, uh, Supervisor Scrivener, uh, Greg Garrett from the City Manager for Tehachapi, Corey Costello, who will be uh, receiving, I believe, the award on behalf of the Tehachapi Warriors Booster Club. And uh, we've got a few other guests, you know, that might be coming. Very good. All right. (laughs) I'll know as we get closer. I don't want to say anything and then be wrong. Okay. Now, we have anything else that we want to highlight, or have we, have we touched all the bases? I, I'm good on my list, other than making a small business list for people to come in and talk to you. <laughs> can, can we tease the website? The website is coming along. It's coming along. Uh, we just kind of had to rip the Band-Aid off and get it out there. We've got a lot of really good information on there. There's a business referral guide. There is a catalog of what Tehachapi is all about. My favorite section is the calendar and then the resource page. So the calendar is instrumental. It's, again, we, we're just starting to populate it. And then the resource section has our newsletters that we're uploading. And then photos of Tehachapi that small businesses can use in marketing. It's free for the small businesses to use. You know, if you're a real estate agent and you want to show what Bear Valley has to show and you don't have the opportunity to go out and take photos yourself, use the website. We want to help promote all of the businesses of Tehachapi. And that's something we talked about at the last Lunch and Learn is to use when you're pushing your business out there in front of people, use local photos. Don't fall into the iStock media or the Getty images and you grab something from Paris. It needs that's to be right. Tehachapi specific. That's that's right. I'm working on Sarac- with Saracoso on an internship program, and uh, we're hopefully we'll be interviewing students here within the f- next few weeks. But one of their projects is to help create stock photos for the photo vault. That's photos of people drinking coffee at our local bakeries and, and coffee shops. It's people walking their dogs. We have a whole list of things that represent Tehachapi. The farmer's market, you know, that's a great event. Our, our apple farms, picking apples and all of that. So this is going to be a full year of developing photos that are representation of the entire community. That way, but it's, it's true, you know, when people look at marketing, they, they know that's Tehachapi. They, they know that, oh, yeah, I know that cafe. I can tell by the lighting. I can tell by the tabletops. I, I recognize that marble top bar. That's that's P-dubs. I recognize this. I recognize that. And people can tell when it's a stock photo and they're being sold something, whereas we're from Tehachapi. We represent Tehachapi, and that's what we want to sell. Very happy to see that. I think that's well, a welcome you. addition. I And if you don't mind, I, I think we might use a photo or two. Uh, well, actually, I and believe, I'll share some. <laughs> yeah, we'll share. Well, I think the the photo that's on the city website is a drone footage that we the, that the chamber took yeah. of uh, the farmers market. I believe it is. You're yeah. right. It is. Yeah. As a matter of fact, and I use that in a press release. Oh. That went out this week. So thank you for that. That is exactly. So I'll transition to that. The farmers market is accepting vendor and entertainment applications, and you need to get those turned in before April 17th. The Farmer's Market this year is going to run June 1st through August 17th, Thursdays from 4 to 7 p.m. on Green Street in downtown Tehachapi. And we're looking for produce vendors, hot or packaged food vendors, plus the entertainment is acoustic soloists or duets. And the information can be found at liveuptehachapi.com. Go to the Farmer's Market, and the vendor applications and entertainment applications are there. But with that, I did use your image that you took for us 
at a uh, farmer's market last year. I loved it because it showed the amount of people. It showed the spaces and how Green Street gets filled out with families in the summertime. Well, that's how I cook on Thursdays. Is we, <laughs> you know, we, we go out to the farmer's market and we get wonderful food and then we take fresh produce back to our house for the next few days. That's one of the things that I even saw some social media posts last year. There was a challenge of what did you do with what you bought? Oh, I missed that. Jessica, our farmer's market manager, had purchased some different items, you know, some fresh produce, and I think there was some bread, and and then she showed the the meal that she prepared utilizing, you know, these key ingredients that she was able to pick up at the farmer's market, which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, we made um, like um, hummus and pitas, pizzas, you know, they had fresh hummus and fresh pita bread, and, and then you get little fruits and vegetables, and you make like a vegetarian pizza. So I'm going to compete. I'm, it's, it's challenge <laughs> it's accepted. On. It's, it's on. I'm right. going to start preparing. Okay, excellent. Uh, so again, go to our website. You can get the application. Send those to Jessica. They need to be in by April 17th, so that way she can process and get the lineup set up. And we're also going to ask the businesses, our brick and mortars too, if they want to participate on Thursday night. So I'll share this with you. Similar to what we did on the Tehachapi hometown Christmas event, and we talked to our businesses and said, hey, we're going to bring people downtown. You need to drive them into your store. Would you like to offer a special farmer's market special or something? And we can populate it on a map. We're going to do a Google map listing all the businesses plus all of the different vendors that we're going to have each week. So this is an opportunity where we're going to bring people in and we want to have a positive impact on our small businesses and say, hey, grab your produce, grab your flowers, and then go check out the antiques. You know, that's a great idea because people have to park and walk past those stores to get to the farmer's market. So lure them in. Yeah. So we're going to bring them in. So people will be here on Thursdays and we want to invite our businesses to offer a Thursday farmer's market special if they want to. And if they don't, that's fine too. But we're going to bring people in and this photo shows the hundreds of people that show up every Thursday. So I think that'll be something that we want to at least offer. You know, one of the few days that it rained in the summer last year was at the farmer's market and people just kept shopping and and enjoying the rain. It was was only like three minutes of rain. It was fantastic, but no one ran away. They still stayed. and, And it's also a great time to see your neighbors if you haven't seen them in a while. Exactly right. Also a reminder that this month on March 22nd, we're going to have a blood drive here in Tehachapi. It'll be at the Vineyard Church on Pinion. Houchin Community Blood Bank will bring up at least two buses plus beds for platelets and plasma donations. And if you would like to reserve a spot, you can go to hcbb.com. That's houchincommunitybloodbank.com. Look for the Tehachapi Drive on March 22nd. Sign up. They'll be here between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. We have a goal of about 60 donors. We hit that each and every time we do this, and our our drives continue to grow. And every time someone donates, it can save up to three lives. Oh, wow. So if you think about if our goal is 60 and we hit that, that's up to potentially life savings of 180 people that can be touched by those donations on one day. Well, that talks about our community again, doesn't it? It does. How generous we are. And also a reminder, we've got two household hazardous drop-offs that are coming up that the County of Kern is sponsoring, and they will be at the Tehachapi Landfill on Saturday, March 4th and Saturday, March 18th. The times are 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And if you go to kernpublicworks.com, they have a list of all the items that you can drop off and you can't drop off. So if you have questions, just go to kernpublicworks.com and that'll make it very easy. You know, with all the snow, tons of people cleaned their closets out, their garages out. So it's a great time to get rid of the things you don't want. While I'm thinking about it, Have a Heart has a new location on Tehachapi Boulevard. I don't know the number off the top of my head. They're looking for donations. The store is twice the size of their previous store and they can take clothing and shoes and all sorts of good stuff. So if you, you know, when you spring clean, feel free to drop off your items over there. They'll use it and they use the money to um, spay and neuter uh, the animals or help low cost clinic and nice. for shots as well. So don't forget to have a heart. All right, uh, Jeanette, let's uh, share the website one more time. Tehachapi.com. And if people want to attend any of our events, where do they go? Uh, if it's a lunch and learn, please email me at chamber at tehachapi.com. And if it is a luncheon or a special event, that would be on Eventbrite. There you go, folks. Very easy. If you've got something you'd like to share with us, you can send it to me at media at tehachapicityhall.com. We'll uh, prep it for next month because Jeanette and I get together once a month just to share the business happenings in the greater Tehachapi area. And if people want to join the chamber, if we've got a small business or someone who's getting ready with a startup or moving their 
business here and they want to become a member of the chamber. Email me at chamber at tehachapi.com or you can go to our website and see what we do and when we meet. And uh, I'd love to talk to you too to see how we can help you, what your concerns are. Um, I met a lady in the lobby here who just opened up a business and uh, she was curious about special events. She's got a food truck and she wanted to know all the happenings and I would love the opportunity to talk to you as well to see how we can help you. Perfect. I love it. I love it when we start working together and we start... We grow together when we work together. That's right. Well, that's what Tehachapi does, though, isn't it? It does. It's so true. All right, Jeanette, thank you for taking the time. Thank you for having me. All right, folks, we'll catch you again soon right here on Tehachapod. Tehachapod is a conversation about Tehachapi, featuring the community members who make this such a special place to call home. If you have a question or a thought you'd like to share, email media at TehachapiCityHall.com. Thank you to Gary Mazzola for sharing his song, This is Tehachapi.